Yeah, what's up? Happy New Year. Welcome to High Street. I'm Dallas Rose. I'm Naughty. Hey, y'all. Happy New Year. I am Jerry L., the fellow Dominican. <laughs> oh, what is it? What's up with Naughty's music? What's up? I know. Turn that shit down. They- <laughs> it's, it's going down. She's, she's, going she's down. good and all, and she's performing this Sunday, by the way. Mm. Selfless plug. At January the Palladium. 7th. Yes, I'm yeah. so excited. It's been fucking Worcester, dude, but make it up there, kid. <laughs> you know, we got our boy alone with us tonight. I already know. I don't want to say all our special guests, but, you know, I'm here in the building today. I'm going to yeah. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we do have a very special guest, the man Trey the Kid. Trey, Trey Duck Woo-hoo! Kid, sorry. Ah. Trey, I think you got all trademarks on the, the yeah, yeah. all variations type <laughs> shit. Pull the mic in yourself there, brother. Um, nah, bro, welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. Yeah, welcome home, bro. Yeah, uh, yes, you sir. Know? Yes, sir. Nah, for real, for sure. Yeah. Shout out Sketch for putting this, you know what I'm saying, making our call. Big shout out Sketch. Yep. Big shout out yeah. Sketch. How was everybody's uh, holidays? It wasn't bad. Yeah? Silence. Did you get anything good for Christmas? Um, I didn't really pay attention to gifts. I, I don't know. I don't even remember. I got That means money. no. That means no. <laughs> I guess. I got you some money. You your socks back, nigga? <laughs> No, Dallas yeah. got the socks. I did oh, get yeah. three pairs of you socks. Of yo, I My got judged got for that, by the way. Why try? Shout out to Why try. Was like, yo, that had some anger behind. That. I said, bro, he made me unwrap some shit for like five minutes. Go fuck yeah, yourself. That was personal. I'm taking your seeds too. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that was a shame. Shout out to Bailey with the assist though, because her gift was so good to you that you you gonna take my shit. I know. Let's go. I love it, and I I've been using it this whole time. That little ashtray is so cute. Yep. And my lighter. Yeah, I saw you did your little video with it. Yeah, but my light is messed up. I was Yo, so excited to smoke that day. Happy Happy New Year. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy Thank birthday. You. Oh, shit. Yeah, happy belated oh, happy to me. Thank you. I gotta go grab it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's happening? Nothing, nothing. Do y'all have some type of prank or gift for me? It's definitely not a prank. Guess, what? Okay. It's your birthday. You need some sweets. <gasps> Purr. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Anyways, but like, Trey, thank you, you guys. I appreciate you. You get anything good for Christmas? Yeah, my Christmas was um great. You know, thank God. Um, what did I get? I got um some outfits, um cologne, things I needed really. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to the fam and stuff like that. Nice. So you have some good gift givers then in your family. <laughs> I had good gifts like that too. I just didn't. You're just too cool for that. No, I said things I needed, cool like you. It. I feel it, like it was just like it felt good to receive, <laughs> nah, right? Yeah, it, it wasn't was like focused on the, I don't know, like the stuff we would when we like kids, Jordans and yeah. all shit like that. Yeah, nah, for sure. My yeah. mom bought me towels. I was mad happy. I swear to God, on everything I love, I was like, yo, yo. <laughs> like these are so cute, and they were like leopard and like it just cute towels, washcloths, and then, like a little. So it was a whole basket. But what's your best gift memory though, as a kid? I'll, I'll start. Oh, like, no. yo, when I was a kid, mm-hmm. I got a. The first time the PS2 came out, mm. my mom's had nothing, bro. Mm-hmm. Living in a brick. She came I came out the... Ain't That's no games, bro. Project though. Babies. Yeah. I'm a Project Baby 2. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Project Babies, for real. Yo, it, exactly. And I came out, and I was like, ain't no way. Because she was like, I'm not getting y'all that. Oh, uh, happy for birthday. Where's the spoon, dude? Oh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Can't drink a McFlurry without a spoon. Happy birthday, Nani. Do we, we got have you to do a McFlurry. It in Creole, bro? You know some is it real? Creole? Yeah, it's a real McFlurry. Why is it so, like, not, like, falling? It's a McFlurry. I, she I actually don't know. Like, I ain't it's, it. it's real. He went to McDonald's. When we said, yeah. get, get, what him, get naughty something. What the fuck do you something. think it is? I'm nervous. What did you think we did to it? I know this does feel like such this a prank, but it's actually... We, we you couldn't find the spoon? To it. No, the only bad news is uh, somebody threw out the spoon, but <laughs> we're going to figure out another way for you to eat that. Don't worry about You're it. Alone, you Happy are. birthday. That's from all of us, by the way. Dallas, That's what, careful, and, uh, it's going to spill. Like, dude, what's <laughs> going on with this thing? It's been frozen for a long time. Oh, it's frozen. It passed the test. Yeah. I'll I'll eat it first if you if you don't believe just, it. Like it not, really is real. I just don't think it's edible anymore. No, it really is. We just got, got it from the freezer. Like Thank you guys. I just yeah. got it. it I appreciate you. I have we no get you nothing else. I bought you. I'm, <laughs> I buy your show ticket. That? That's what you get. <laughs> just use that skull bowl there to spoon it out. Oh my god. I want this. Uh, that thing's pretty sweet. Well, no, yeah, it's, it's part cool. of the set now, guys. Yeah, I mean, hey, shout out Nudia for always. Shout out Nudia, big medieval. Here. You didn't even say it right, by the way. I, I'm not going to try. I say you know Nudia. Now we need to put Spanish captions below what he just said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and also, shout out Aaron. Back finally, he finally woke yo. up from that 500 milligram <laughs> edible, dude. Nice. Yeah, and he's he back. Shout out We're Aaron. back at full force, yo, he's, dude. He's back from Cuba, bro. <laughs> yeah. He got That's deported nice. for like six months. I mean, it's not six months. It's been like th- what two two months. Yeah, he swam <laughs> over here, bro. He walked up here from Miami. He can't afford a car, but it's like it is what it is, bro. This guy's crazy. We're proud of you, dog. Yeah. And but we got, Trey, what was your wait? Oh, yeah. Sorry, else? no. I was gonna shout out John Monday in the back. Is John Monday, is that the name? 
Hey. Yeah, take your pictures. Yeah. 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 yeah, let's get to Trey. Let's did you guys already Trey. talk about Christmas gifts? I was going to ask That's Trey. what I was going to say. What bit. was his yeah. favorite yeah. kids? Trey, you, oh, yeah. Celebrate yeah. Christmas or? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Celebrate Christmas oh, yeah. for sure. Did you get anything interesting? He said he got some good utilitarian stuff. The question on the board is, and you would know this if you didn't lose the spoon, is... Is yeah, what was the best gift you remember getting as a kid, or even like now, bro? You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, the best gift I got as a kid, um, freshman, no, no, yeah, yeah, freshman year. Um, nah, I was a sophomore. Um, how old are you? I'm 24. I thought, you just look like a baby, definitely baby face. <laughs> Good genetics, bro. But at the um, what's so crazy about this um location, like what made me like super excited about it, like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely doing it. Went to school right there at the Boston Arts Academy. Shout okay, out Boston Arts Academy. Yeah, I was a theater major. Uh, cool, okay, man. Okay, period. Yeah, so, so you've been already in, like, you. just the arts, music, everything, you know? Yeah, for sure. For mm-hmm. sure. So when, when, um, I was a sophomore, and around this time, this is when um, True Religions was really big. You mm. feel me? Like, so, like, my mom... Um, he was gas. <laughs> a dope yeah. dealer jeans, bro. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> <That> sure. <laughs> yeah. I had, like, um, she got me, like, like... 10, 11 pairs, like seven, eight pairs. Damn. Oof. With the shirts matching and stuff. That's fire. Oh, that's she went Christmas. ham, dog. Yeah, that's a good Christmas. That's all I was talking about, like pretty much um, so, uh, that summer, because you know Chief Keef and them were going hard that whole <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. So like that whole summer, I was talking about it and then got it on Christmas. Oh. And, and on that note, the, the Dominican Boston drug dealer uniform was true religion jeans with the polo rugby on. <laughs> You know what I'm oh saying? With the ones. Uh, you know yeah, what I'm talking about? Nah, for sure. Because <laughs> he knew yeah. he was going crazy when he had them. Set, what you said? Seven or eight pairs of trues? Yeah. He was going crazy. He, he got hoes that year. Oh, oh yeah, for 100%. sure. 100%. He said for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. That's more than one for every day of the week. <laughs> that's all you yeah, 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 need. He was rotation. good. Yo, was people gosh. would stretch out two pairs of trues. I know. Like, you couldn't even tell when he switched them. Nah, you thought he got another one. You had to do set amount of days. If you come from the... You know, from that kind of background, you got to switch up your outfits a little bit. Nah, if you got eight shoes, are you going to just, like, wear one the whole week and then after have to switch nah, it up the next nah. week? He got eight. He rotate them. Nah, yeah. yeah just ro- rotate them for sure. But but those weren't the only jeans I had. <laughs> He's yeah. like, that's not Well, we ain't, put a, we ain't like, saying that on your name. Nah, nah yeah, we ain't doing yeah, that. Nah. We ain't getting crazy. So, like, like I would, like, um, like say if I want Monday, Tuesday, then I switch up to, like, the you know, the Levi's. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was pretty cool. And anything that was, like, uh, skinny. Um, joggers, denim, um, yeah, joggers yeah, for sure. 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 Um, with the rips in them, the skinny jeans, with the rips. Sure. Oh like yeah, that. that was that time too. So what yeah, year you yeah. graduate high school? Twenty seventeen? Uh, nah, it was uh, cause I had to like I didn't really get to walk the stage and shit. Mm. So I had to like um, what did I end up doing? I think I had to do some shit on a computer, mm-hmm. and then they um, Give they mailed, credits. yeah, they mailed my um. Your diploma and shit? Yeah, the diploma gotcha. and stuff. Because I around that time, I, that's when I had just did my first song. Well, it wasn't my first song, but, like, it got me, like, you know. Going. Punk. Yeah. So I was trying to get shows, you know what I'm saying, back Why and is there so many M- M- Atlanta. This is not oh, Yeah, bro, I was talking to Dallas about it when he says, yo, we got Trey. I was like, yo, I haven't, because I remember that run that you was on, like. And I was a kid. Quick. Yeah, I yeah, I kid. know, I know you. It was, was so bro. crazy. Is I'm so hot. It's not even my biggest video. Mm. Like it, it started. You know what I'm saying? You got a video. I, I remember it. it was like it was it at Madison Square, bro, or some shit like that. Which is that? I think it was in New York. Did you do a video in New York? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember. Describe I, I just, it to me, <sighs> bro. I know it was you and a couple. I know Mr. Mr. Chase, that bag was on there. I know him. I can't remember his fucking name, but that's his brand. And I seen him in the background, bro. But like, I, I just remember that run because I was just like, you was, you was kind of like buzzing big. Like, uh, was it like five years ago? You think so? Uh, like that, I knew of you. Like everyone could talk. Like you know, especially in the locals. I make beats, bro. So I was just like, yeah. you know, when you active in the scene, you just hear certain names keep coming up. Your name did keep coming up. You know what I mean? It's that footwork. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I only like. You know, I'm, a, I'm I'm much older now, but just you know, I, looking at when I was a kid, just wanting to you know go to different things and just being outside, anything that was going on, I was there, so that that helped a lot. Yeah, I know you was on tour early type shit too, right? Yeah, I was getting on tours with other people, and what's so crazy, my biggest tour that I had um was um with my homie Ski Mask, the Slum Guard. I don't know if any. Oh yeah, know, we know, know Ski yeah. Mask. Yeah, right. Literally, I got the um passport everything and 
literally on the way after like the the because it was an overseas show, but they had one in New York, so we did New York and um on the way to the airport to go overseas, bro canceled the tour. Jesus, bro canceled the tour. This shit was sold out overseas. I was so yeah. bad. Why did he cancel Damn. it? Uh, personal issues and stuff like Bullshit. that. Too mm. whacked out on drugs or some that. shit. <laughs> I don't know. Have Have you but, been overseas and shit like that? What's for touring? Nah, nah, nah. Not yet. Not yet. Been my first What's, time. Mm, that would have been your first time. Yeah. Okay. So right. you usually went like out west, or you stayed regional. Like, how was how was that at first experience? How I old mean, were you, by the way, when I first started? Um, I think I was uh, sixteen. 16 okay. Oh, damn, damn, sixteen yeah, on the road like that. Because I was moving back and forth from um, I was going back and forth from Connecticut, New York. You know, because mm-hmm. it's expensive. Um. It's more expensive in New York, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I didn't want to reside out there, and I still got people, my people back here and stuff like that. So that's where I was staying in Connecticut. It was a little cheap, you know, cheaper. And then going from there home to New York, Philly, um, where else I went? Well, that might get a little, a little closer, bro. Where else I went performed um, on that run? Oh, D.C., just, just pretty much everywhere on the East Coast. Because at that time, it was hard to get the flights and – you know, um, just being able to fund it, you know what I'm saying? So I was de- we definitely was on the road in the car going pretty much everywhere. That 16 is crazy. Who was driving you? Oh, I had, I had like a man, a little, you know what I'm saying? A okay, manager okay. at the time. Your um, team. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. What happened to the gonna, manager? Uh, oh, I had to fire him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, yeah, things happen, stuff like that. He's a great guy, good guy. But um, he just didn't. He, he didn't really know that much when it came down to, like, doing the big business, you know? Yeah. And it's, it, it, you know, no no disrespect to him. You know, he's a great guy, like I said, but it just were, like, certain big opportunities that were, like, you know, people wanted to sign me and stuff like that. He didn't know how to, you know, some people don't want you to go. It. Yeah, they don't yeah. want you to take that. That step because you know they feel like they're being I don't know because a, a lot of the people that reached out were like you know we want to take the position that you know mm. and mm. I'm like you know you, you're always gonna be around you know you're you're, you're like a damn near uncle to me so it's like ah God he, so he felt his shit was threatened so he wasn't he was trying to hold it back from yeah, you and shit exactly. like exactly what that kind of yeah. reminds me of, like Taraji P Henson was just talking about that she fired her whole management staff after she did a big movie and they didn't get her money. She was like, you guys didn't make me big deals. Where was my pay increase? Where was this? Where's my sponsorships? I just did these huge movies. She did Empire. And it also be hard when you're young and and someone's trying to tell you what to do. And then you get to a certain age and you realize what you want to do for yourself. It kind of sounds like that. I don't know if that's what you felt. Or you realize that they're full of shit. Yeah, exactly. Something, you know what I'm saying? Like, boom. You was young. He came into your life. He helped you get where you had to go. And that's that. People should know when the... No, I was already... One thing about me is I, I keep everything. I, I I put a lot of work in myself, you know. Mm. So what it really was was like I already had dropped them so hard, did all that before I even knew the, the man. You know, I just got booked and performed at a club, and he happened to be the owner of the club, and he seen my performance, and he was like, "Is anyone helping you do uh, X, Y, and Z?" And I was like, "Ah, it's just me," you know. And he was. Those are the type of managers you want. Just, yeah, but at the same time, when it's like, they feel threatened when they like, when they like, say if you that guy, and this is the artist, right? But I'm somebody who like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I work at a court, you know, a corporate label and I'm, I'm one of the people, like, you know, I've helped careers, right. you know, um, you have to cut and they're like, the and they're like, check and yeah, the and I'm like, I want, I want to. I want to join the team. I don't want you to leave, but I want to take over because I, I got the experience, the resume, where this could, where I can take this and you know what I'm saying. And that guy realizes that, that he's not going to be, he's not going to be, he's going to be useless now. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they mm-hmm. fill, yeah, they fill away, yeah. and then they don't even want that to happen. Mm-hmm. So they'll start like, like you know. I'm not gonna, yeah, hindering Getting yeah. in the way, exactly. Yeah, a little straight bit of sabotage up. in the way. Sab- you just took it out of my mind. Yeah, I didn't want to say it, but like straight up. Damn. Well, that's what happens a lot, even in some non-music related shit. That happens a lot in the hood when people start. He's like, yo, he's making a little too much money. He's doing a little bit too many good things, 
And then they'd be like, nah, do this, bro. S- sell this and do this dumb shit. Do this dumb shit with me to keep them at the same level they was at. Because they're like, yo, he going to leave me my ass behind. I don't feel like putting in that work to keep up with him. You and, know what I'm saying? And it wasn't even like more so I'm like, I'm going to leave behind. It's just like, we got to expand, bro. Like, I'm not mm. trying to like, cause at the time I was still living, you know what I'm saying? Still, still reside, but it was just different. Like, I was living in the South, you know what I'm saying, South End. And, and and if you from Boston, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas in the hood. It is what it <laughs> yeah. is. So it's like all that attention and, and stuff like that. And I'm still in that situation where, you know, people want to, you know, run down. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Just mm-hmm. because you're getting that clout. And, and, you know, back then it was like dudes were taking like a follow serious. Like, oh, you you don't follow me. And it's like you can't even keep up with this. You feel me? Like, I don't care Bruh. about, you know. There was mad drama even back then, bro. And like, then, yeah, and then, and then on top of that, what's so crazy is like, you know, because I'm one of those who think, think, think. So I would be telling my manager at the time, like, yo, this, I need to do this, I need to do that. And everyone's like, no, 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 don't do it. Just, just show them you can rap. And, and all my ideas that I was telling them, like, bro, if I do, if I do it like this and use an auto tune as an example, if I get on this type of, um, sound and this is like back then, 2017. This is when it's like before, like all the the new artists that you know what I'm saying projecting. It, other than mm-hmm. the the Yachties and the 21 Savages and people who are already you know what I'm saying solidified. And, but I was telling my manager different things that I knew would go viral, and they were telling me no. And then Yo. a year, two years later, this new artist doing exactly yeah. what I told. I him. think you got to be real careful letting a manager like have a heavy influence on your creative decisions. Yeah. It's like, there's a reason that one of us makes music here, buddy. Yeah. And the other doesn't, you know, yeah. like go get me a check. <laughs> Shut the fuck Answer up. Answer my emails. You know what I'm saying? Yo, people yeah. don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah like people don't know their roles on teams sometimes, bro. Yeah, that's the, that's the way it functions, bro. They don't even know how to write emails. It'd be crazy. <laughs> there's, there's, actually, there's actually a new loophole. It's actually one of my top, my trending topics today with oh, nice. uh, music 2.0, but I'm going to get into that later. But okay. there's, they're making like technology is making the artists and the fans become so much more engaged that you won't even need a manager. You won't even need the labels yeah. pretty soon because the fans are going to spend the money with the artists they select. It goes directly to them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So they can choose to, you know, monetize it however they can share it to their manager, label, whatever. Yeah. So I feel like that's going to be super important, especially finding a manager is making sure like I'm the admin of everything, all the bank accounts, this and that. And then, you know, I'll sweep you something at the end type shit. Mm. But yeah, contracts are different everywhere. So it's, I mean, it's know. all moving towards that though. I think slowly like with right when they came out with distro kid and all that shit, it was like, we, we knew the writing was on the wall. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, and then, um, it's Irv Gotti's brother's name, Chris Gotti. He got that company. He don't even sign you. He's like, just pay me and I'll give you all my connects. Yeah. And, yeah instead of like that. You know yeah, what I'm it's similar to what was happening a couple years back with the NFT shit. Um, like Tory Lanez, for example, he, Mm. became a millionaire and made other people a large amount of money because they owned a portion of his project. And that shit was crazy, bro. That's coming around again. I know crypto flunked and then that killed the NFT world, but... Bitcoin's back up to 45. Yeah, and part of being a musician, bro, is now they're pushing the musician has to be the visualizer, the editor, the da-da-da-da, right? So imagine having that one place where everyone can go and pick a part of that and then make a profit off of it. Mm. Like That would be really How does that work? Like how did that oh, it's a whole, stuff work? Yeah, like, you just put a people audio were hitting file. me up for it, and I was little. I was confused. I, I didn't make a move on it because I didn't know what. To do. It's it's yeah, it's like technical. a it's the blockchain is essentially a way of like in, encrypting things. Mm-hmm. It's right? a banking and, computer, and with with digital artwork like files, like or sorry, like like uh, like songs or images or whatever. It's a way to to say like this is the original one. And nobody can like break it. So yeah. like, if you have that file, if you and then and then the ownership of that is also encrypted onto the blockchain, yeah. which is kind of like the internet, the blockchain. Yeah. It's like a, a it's a, a network ledger of that everyone yeah. can look at to see who previously owned it, which actually makes it more valuable if famous people own it. For instance, why NFTs were so popular were because there was way too many rich people. There still is, but a lot of rich people that were bored, bro. And what they did with NFTs yeah. is they would hang a, a TV like this vertically. And then use that as the portrait image for the NFT. And then they, they'd have the little ID number at the bottom. It's like a serial code to like 
mm-hmm. authenticate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So people were just had a lot of money, bro. They would have like, I remember Nike had an NFT that was just a shoe spinning and it was like a, we had wings on it and shit like that. And it was like NLE Choppa in the background. You know That's what I mean? Nice. And it was like, one of LA, he made so much money off that shit, bro. Yeah. It, it, yeah. We're going to make it another round on the NFT. So well, yeah, there was a later. bubble. There was a bubble that burst too. So it's kind of, maybe it's kind of good. You didn't get in on it early because mm-hmm. a lot of people lost mad bread, bro. Like I'm telling you, like they bought an NFT for a million dollars and that shit worth cents. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was that, it went that bad for some yeah, of them. Crazy. Some of the top guys are still good. So it was kind of like a little bit of a pyramid scheme, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. people didn't understand it. People were just like, yo, anything NFT, that's worth money. So everyone it was like yeah, a gold Yeah, but what rush. makes it have more value than the other ones? It's just the what you put on Curry it. Yeah. it. Stephen Curry it's putting it, it has put his it. Twitter, Avi. That's what makes more value. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephen yo, Curry yo, has but I don't get it. So if it's a picture that's on his Twitter... What's the original so like, compared to the picture on his Twitter? What did everybody have? So the because he on can use it and replicate that on other things. Like yeah. so, people were taking their NFTs they own, putting it on merch, clothes, whatever well, too. Also, and you could sell that. Also, Twitter had an authorization. Uh, like they had you link your Meta wallet, so like you, it would be authenticated. So they would know the code to the Avi. If you swiped on the Twitter, it would pull up the original Avi. So if it if you swiped on it and it didn't do that, then that you knew that was a fake one. That's how you talk. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm a gra- I do graphic design on the side, so I kind of have a little. I dabble yeah, in, yeah, that in that shit. You know what I mean? A little bit. Yeah, musicians <laughs> got to be everything. We got to be editor, director, yeah, yeah, sure. everything. You, I mean, you save money that way, man. Absolutely. You know, you got to pay Absolutely. like cover. You know, fifty bucks for the cover art, however much for the you know the social media content, all yeah. this like. It gets, I think I made my cover out for tequila. I'm very, very proud nice. of it. Hey, congratulations oh, yeah. on the release. Oh, yeah, too. dude, congrats on tequila. I saw that shit. Tequila, Promo's going tequila. wild on that shit. Yeah, yeah, you got to say it right, bro. That's fucking right. <laughs> yeah. You have to do tequila. You got to sing it. Yeah. There's like extra yeah. E's in it. It's a whole thing. <laughs> oh, real quick, I have a question for you, but uh, for anybody that's a musician, a fucking AV or any type of computer is a dope side job. Uh, back to the question, bro. I, where did you shoot? Where are you from? I saw that video and it, it was uh-huh. boom and I was like, what is this? I feel like I noticed that neighborhood. Yeah, in my neighborhood um, where I grew up in the South End, um, in the Villa Victoria. Villa Victoria, that's what it was. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't gangbang, but you know what I'm saying? That is oh, where course. I was born and raised. I know so. exactly what he's talking about. That was yeah. the first video that popped up when I typed you and I was like, oh, that should go hard, Yeah, bro. for sure. There's a little roll call anthem for, you know what I'm saying, anybody, wherever you're from, like, you know what I'm saying, rap that. Do you have you an know. in-house producer, or do you make your own beats? It, 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 I make my, I, I know how to make beats. I'm not as nice with it, you know what I'm saying. But I just fuck with anyone who really like, like, uh, who got that sound. Hell yeah, you know what I'm I saying. Got but you. now I want some stuff where I, I, I'm really about to like, I'm about to create my own sound. I mean, I already got my own sound, but if you get what I mean, like beat wise, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like yeah, absolutely. I'm on a, a like that speci- Noah Forty. You gotta have that Noah with the specific, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the sound gonna be? Do you know? High quality. Just <laughs> I just want high quality, like like the that best could be anything sound. though. Anything yeah. exactly. that could be anything. So like, is it gonna be trappy? Is it gonna be boom bap? You know what I'm saying? Like, Any, oh, that's what I mean. Anything. Yeah. It might be a high uh, a high quality piano beat with a simple. Are, are you a fan of XXX uh, Triple X Tentacion? Yeah, I, I definitely. Uh, you like if you listen to like the style, style, that album, absolutely. stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Super Just versatile. High qua- exactly. That's what I'm trying got to say. You, you. you got a unique as rap voice, though. So you, I think whatever you get on is going to be like, oh, that's that's Trey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I never heard some shit that was like, wonder to it. Because, you know, you ever listen to something and be like, this could be this guy. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I never yeah, really got sure. that too much with you. You know what I mean? Thank you. That means a lot. Yeah. Mm. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Because. I put a lot, a lot, like, what they say, 10,000 hours. Mm. Oh. That's yeah. what we've all done it, you know what I'm saying? Changed the hair a few times, too, if I noticed. <laughs> yeah, I got long hair now. <laughs> you know me, bro. Yeah, I didn't expect the twisties, because I always remember to fade with, like, a like the little dye and shit in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The patch yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah, I ended up, um, because I live in L.A., so I ended up just, like, you know, I started growing my hair, when was it, um, 2019, I think. Yeah, when I did the way you from video and stuff, because I had the the um what they call that like the you know with the hair with the haircut yeah I had the fade and it just kept growing and growing and growing and it got to a point where it's like the girls that were around me they were like let me you know what I'm saying and I let them braid it put yeah, the two let me braids braid your hair and then, yeah the and it started from that you ever braid your shit alone. <laughs> 
Uh, oh yeah, I, bra- I suck at braiding my own hair though. Maybe it's the I'm worst, braised. bro. You have you have to have, especially a, like a woman knows how to get yeah, in there. You know sure. what I'm saying? I don't. I never had a man touch my hair, but except for a barber. But when it gets yeah. too intimate, when it's braiding, bro, it's a little. So weird. I need to trust <laughs> it. I never even I thought about that, but it's a little weird. Yeah, I've never been at a shop and seen a dude they just be like yeah. My shit. I'm like, bro, Real I, I don't talk. Even, I gotta like the the girl who's doing my hair, bro, because that should be pissing me off. <laughs> what you gonna swing on her, dog? That's What's wrong funny. with you? Yeah, I'm, like, oh, I'm not paying you, you. Do I braid my hair? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no. You, you didn't shine your head for today, bro. That's rude. Trey came. That's what happened. I braided it. I, I, I braided it too hard, and it all it all came off. <laughs> it all came off. Yeah. Oh Yo, my god. Like you, could, you could be like one of those. I was gonna uh, say you gonna braid could, your beard. I could do that like a Viking. Dude, like dude, a don't Viking. do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh sick. my I'm god! I'm gonna be off the podcast that week. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't know this guy. Trey, uh, so what, what got you out to LA? Did you feel like, like, you know, a lot of people think there's too much hate in Boston. You know what I'm saying? And like, no, you know, the, the, I think that's changing. But is that something that you were going through that made you want to go out there, or you just felt like to really get the love that you needed, you had to go out there? Well, it was really, um, I was going. My manager at the time, you know, we built a solid buzz in the city. Um, I used to pass my CDs out, flyers hand to mm. hand. So it was um, we built that buzz in the city, and I felt like, like I, what I would literally say to them is like, me. I felt like me being in the city. Well, yeah, at the time I felt like me being in the city, um, was like me going fishing in the woods. I'm like, if I'm trying to catch fish, <laughs> I'm not gonna good, catch it in the woods. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? that's so a good analogy. I feel you. Yeah, we you. um, we um. Right, uh, when was it? I think it was, uh, 20. It was r- really once I got my diploma. I think it was, like, uh, 2018. Yeah, it was, like, 2018. Um, cause you know, I had to get my mom's permission. So like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was crazy, but, yeah, it was, um, uh, 20, 2018, and that's when I, um, Got on. We got the flight, stayed out there, and once I got out there, after like I didn't fall in love with it. Like soon as I got out, you know how people be like, "Oh, as soon as I got out." Yeah. It was like probably like a month after, like a month, because the the original I st- I went out there for a month. You know, got an um, investor, <clears throat> and um, yeah, of course I paid that back, of course. But um, that's good. It was like a little small twenty k investment. So how did it work? Because I've, I've been hearing more and more about people doing that as opposed to deals and shit. Like, do you mind talking about the particulars of your agreement with him? Yeah. Um, like, what did he get was, for his 20K? Oh, he got his money back. And um, but I'm saying like, so you just had to pay him over time or was he getting like a royalty percentage or uh, how no, did it with, work? Yeah, with that, he just wanted his bread back. Okay. And um, some of the songs that I put out, he, um, I believe like, uh, what was it? Swerving, it was like three songs mm-hmm. that um we uh exchanged, so that's like what he that's like it's his, you know. He I see. So he gave you a loan and then basically got his money back plus some songs. Yeah. Okay. That's not a bad deal because if you think about it, you kind of just like depends on the songs. That is true, but like you got to have the mindset like, bro, I got the next ones. Yeah. Thank you for the bread. You know what I'm oh saying? no no no! You can't be like that. It's a, it's a, you know, because they don't got to do that. You know, you didn't have to do that. Shout out to my boy too. I don't want to put his name. Up. I don't want people hitting him up. But shout out to you, Brody. You know, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. how he is. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, sure. yeah. So I had went out there for a month. Um, and when I got like just being out there and just like I had met Snoop Dogg. I went to the compound. Shout out my boy Snap Dogg. He um we had shot our video and then after that he was like, "What um what you about to get into?" I was like, I'm gonna just go back to the, you know what I'm saying, a little crib chill. And he was like, well, I'm about to go um see uh, Snoop Dogg. So I was like, I bet let's go. Got Snap Dogg and Snoop Dogg? Yeah. Okay. That's fire. I, did Snoop Dogg have an issue with that or was he like, oh, that's cool? Nah, he embraced Snap Dogg. Okay. Yeah. He, he invited him over. That's fine. I right. guess, yeah. yeah I, was uh-huh. playing, I was playing on it. So I'm like, you you could drive the car. And um, he was like, nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I had the I 8, you know what I'm saying? Uh, rented, you know, what I'm saying we don't got a cap over here. <laughs> Period. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, you, you sold your seven trues to rent it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I was like, I was so excited, you know, because I didn't even know that's what he um, that's what he had planned and stuff like that. I we had uh set up the song, went out there, shot the video, and then um, he brought me over there because him and um. Snoop Dogg, I guess uh, Snoop Dogg wanted him and wanted like his, uh, I think they did a video or a song or like a segment, something like they had something going on with the cameras and stuff like that. So I just was there, you know what I'm saying, background watching 
playing on like you know Snoop Dogg got a big compound like um like it's a big compound it's like he got the vi- the video the game room um, just uh it, it's huge isn't it a dog it's pound Snoop not a compound Dogg. Yeah, it's the dog, the dog pound, but yeah, it's yeah. it's really the compound too because it's, yeah, yeah, in Compton, God. that's crazy. <laughs> Play on words. That shit is dope though. Like you know, I was playing on the game, and that's when I had the patch at the time, and he yeah, seen yeah. it. He was like, you know, what I'm saying, it's Snoop Dogg, so you got to respect Snoop. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that was definitely a good time. That's funny. Did what? did you smoke with him? How was that? Nah, I didn't. Damn. Oh, that's crazy. Was his, was his blunt roller there? Uh, that's one of my favorite things about Snoop Dogg. He's supposed to have like a, a blunt roller, roller on hand all the time. It's like a translator that's always with him. <laughs> nah, yeah, I think. Snoop rolls his own shit. This is my yeah. blunt roller. Yeah, I, think, right. I think he might have been smoking. Okay. Yeah, I think he might have been smoking a blunt as he was walking through. But, oh, um, God. Yeah, I didn't see anybody roll his blunt. What's your favorite you know? artist you worked with or toured with or... Mm, 21 Savage Really? Yeah, 21 Savage You chilled with him? Like, what was that like? Yeah, we was in the studio Yeah? Yeah, I have a song with him I'm released Shout out to Puma Damn. You know Period saying? That's lit Yeah, they oh, that's Why is it still ass. unreleased? What's going on? Because I have fired that manager Oh, no <laughs> I mean, I could still put the song out and stuff Like, I, like you know, we both own it, man But it's like It's all, you know what I'm is saying? It, it can be hard with artists that are like Signed to big labels too, right? Because they got to get, get shit cleared. cleared and all that Yeah, yeah but at that time, we uh we paid him. We got the clearance. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it was a part of the... Uh, Puma had the Clyde Rafes coming out at the time. Okay. Um, and... He just they said... They used him. Yeah, they, they, they used both of us, like, to, like, you know, promote the... um Promote the, the, the video. Okay. I mean, not the video. <laughs> the shoe. The sneakers. So, yeah. Talking about Puma sneakers? Yeah, the Puma okay, shoe, yeah. so... Bro, the whole time, I thought he was talking about a person named Puma. Yeah, I know. But oh, no. now I understand. No, drop that yeah, song. Puma yeah, brand. Drop that song, bro. What are you doing? You want us to leak it for you, bro? We'll pretend we didn't... <laughs> yeah, can we, we play it, about it right now? Cut this part. Fire it over to Yo, the yeah. <laughs> you were supposed to low-key just text him, <laughs> yeah. bro. Like, you just send I, it. I'll, I'll play, like, a little snippet. That, oh, oh shit, I'll play a little snippet. Damn, 21 Savage is a crazy look. Who, uh... Who's been the most influential artist that you've worked with? Like, so, what do you question. mean? Like somebody that like somebody that you feel like has made the biggest impact on your career? You know, like, and it could be somebody that you know nobody you even knows to about. Yeah. You know, that just got started with you early and, and like really gave you that push. Or it could be somebody huge that you learned a lot from. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say um, I haven't did a song with this artist, but like I've been in the studio with them, and um. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. That was when I met I met Pop Smoke. Oh shit! Is that it? Yeah, I had met Pop Smoke for the first time in the That's studio. Fine. But I say Meek Mill. Yeah. Yeah, we was in the um, this is right after I, um, did my little situation, um, music situation. <laughs> they had brought me to the studio. Thank you for clarifying that. I was like, you got locked up, bro? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had met Justin Timberlake that, that oh, night. That's, that's lit. <laughs> that's a huge legend. That's crazy. Yeah, I posted it on. Let me tell you how funny these managers be, right? I posted the photo on my page. page the photo went viral and shit like that. Months down the line. I still got the pic. It's in, like, my story archives and stuff. Then months down the line, I let him log into my Instagram. And, like, he deleted the photo. What? Oh, we don't want to let people log into our Instagrams, right, guys? Oh, no, we learned that. That. oh yeah, yeah, we learned Dallas, that. Dallas, look at the... You zoom in on Dallas's face, right? Yep. Don't let again. nobody <laughs> log into our Don't Instagram. Don't let anybody log in to your Instagram if you're not sure you can trust them. Yeah. 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 But this is it right here with me in 21. Okay. I'm going to go to my... I'm gonna go to Put my it up friend. a little bit. I'm going to go to my favorite part. Oh, damn. They were sleeping on me, but I got them talking to them. We started going back and forth. This shit's hard. Let me hear it. Oh, he can hear it. Because he got the headphones on. It's my favorite part. Well, don't fuck with R. Kelly, though. That beat is so hard. Well, that's a bar. That is a yeah. bar, though. He said Canary Yellow Diamonds. Oh, God, that is a bar. I ain't never heard this. Yo, Damn. never heard this. World Let him know. That's fine. World premiere. Yo, we about to leak it. On yeah. <laughs> yeah, send me the file, bro. I want to leak it. Yeah. <laughs> ah. No bass. Uh. Some unreleased. I fuck with Uber. Maybe jumping on my hoes. I love 21. Yo, Drake. Mm-hmm. Guess what's going on in the go yard. 
I might swerve different lanes in a sports car. Yeah, you know, we went crazy. Yeah. You know? yeah. No, that's a good song. That's what's up. But, but you said Meek Mill? Yeah, Meek Mill is the most influential mm-hmm. artist. You know what I'm saying? You know him? Yeah, I met him. Can you help me get him some beats? Because he needs to hear a few of my beats. That's facts. I know some of his people that's close to him. Okay. Send him okay. beats okay. first. There you go, J-Rope. You no, I'm just, but they probably, I mean, in this that, of course, we already talked he about that. High quality we got to get in the studio. Yeah, we got to yeah. get in the studio. We got to have them beats banging. You know what I'm saying? We got to be vibed up for sure. And we might fuck around and make a tape. Who knows? How Shit. often you be yeah. coming out here, bro? Uh, It, it depends. Uh, really, uh, I haven't been out here in a... Really, in like since like five years, since like um, really, left. yeah. Do you just come for the holidays or like what brought you? I wanted to, yeah, it was holidays. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to you see need some new people. jeans. Yeah. You need some new true <laughs> religions. <laughs> yeah. Imagine he's like, I love, I love two of the pairs back home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, so uh, it was six. just time to see the family. Yeah, that's dope. Absolutely. Do you feel like um, you had a lot of time away, or like I know you're saying you don't come here often, but like how close are you with your family, or do you feel like? Music kind of took you away from that. Oh, no. We've always been super close. They've yeah. never looked at me as, like, a rapper or nothing. You know, my parents always, my, especially my mom, she always say, you know, you, you are my son. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about what. And She's like, you regular. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It gives a yeah. balance and stuff like yeah. that. You know, because I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people who got more than me and shit like that. So, you know saying? You got to remain humble and, you know what I'm saying? But it's good to have that balance. No, but even the people, no matter how much you guys, it should always be like you just human, like all of us. Like That's dope that, that she's like that with you. Absolutely. I was listening to your new song, uh, Shooter, Shooter, right? Yeah. Called, I, wanted, I wanted to ask you about uh, one of the lyrics yeah. <laughs> and find out if it was Cap. Uh, Borrow the Ooters, I fuck on a cougar. I'm in the cut getting head from a tutor. So oh, yeah. do, you, <laughs> do you really... What I say? Do you, Go ahead, go ahead. Bar- it's like borrow the Ooters, I fuck on a cougar. I, I'm I, I'm in the cut getting head from a tutor. Right? That's a real fact. So but so A, do you like cougars? Yeah. Uh, you it, pro it, old it, pussy, bro? It, it, it you pro old pussy. She gotta pussy. be bad. Like <laughs> she gotta no, seriously, she gotta be bad. Like Yeah. I, I was um how You're not fucking with I, the grannies? No. Grannies. <laughs> That's uh, not the cougar <laughs> grannies. No, no, no. This lady, she was she was older. But she looked very, very young. Like, she's one of those who, like, tries to stay in, like, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, the social light. Mm. You know, type yeah. shit like that. And she, yeah. These are older um, women. And it, it was, you know what I'm saying? I had to just thrax that. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to care. And then what about the tutor, bro? Was that the tutor? Or was it the same person? No, no, no. It's different. Um, Which And what was the subject? <laughs> That's a good shit, question. Did you like, how did was the she conversation go? Um, <laughs> you get so good grades. Like now, what I mean by a tutor is somebody like, like you know what I'm saying? She wasn't older than me. Like, a mentor. That's just her job. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's okay. just good at She is a tutor. Yeah, no, like, tutor. okay, yeah, gotcha. Okay. Okay, okay. It's just her job. She wasn't tutoring you. Nah, she nah, you was tutoring her. <laughs> That'd be way funnier <laughs> though. That'd be crazy. Oh, I You're see. slow. I thought it was. I thought it was his tutor. Oh no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> he was just dating a, a woman who happened to be a, a tutor. tutor. No, nah, I wasn't really dating her, but like you know, you what, know saying? what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I'm being polite. Fucking with it. Yeah, I'm being yeah, polite. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't say what he was actually doing. With uh, for sure. For sure. We respect women on the podcast. So you got that drop. Yeah, which is going insane. Like it's going actually really, really good. Like you know, I haven't been able to. Uh, now I'm I'm a free artist. Um, I have I was like locked in a seven year contract. Whoa. Jesus, um, bro. Yeah, it, it was. You sound like you did a bid, nigga. <laughs> nah, yeah. Thank God I was. Um, Is that why you were kind of like on a low key little hiatus in a little bit? Because I remember you was dropping way more consistently than I didn't. You know, before. Was, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Before I signed that contract, and it's a big company. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna say their name. We don't want to give them no clout. Mm. But. It, yeah, I was, you know, right before COVID. Boom, boom, mm. boom, boom. I actually had a record that was getting ready to go nut, but it's all good, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yeah, that that situation slowed everything down because like they they st- they're big in what they do, you know what I'm saying? Which has nothing to do with music, you know, okay. regular apparel. But they wanted to start a new label, so they were basically like gambling with like artist careers and stuff like that and they didn't know what to they were doing exactly you know at all you know they had, they 
the staff that was there that they had, they like fired them, got new staff and stuff like that. It's just like a circus, and it, it's simple. You know what I'm saying? Like you were saying, you put them, you put it out, goes to the consumers, and it's simple. The more you keep doing that, the, the bigger you're gonna get. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, what would you say now that you're out of a contract and you're an independent artist? I know you just started a little bit. I was gonna ask, like, what's your suggestion for dropping? That's not me. Really like, like, what do you your um. What's the word? Singles your release. Project. Or release cadence. Your release. So um, we know it's about to get campaign. into a seven-year contract. Huh? PR campaign? What do you mean? Like just your roll release. Out? Just your, your release. Roll out. How do you yeah. roll out? Yeah. Thank you. That's oh, the word. Your rollout. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm actually getting ready to get a, a, a PR. I feel like that's something um, that's very detrimental. I mean, not detrimental. I feel like Essential. that's a waste of money, yeah, dude. Yeah, since you think so? Yeah. Really? Yeah, except at the highest mm-hmm. levels. Like, if you're trying to get on Jimmy Fallon and shit like that, yeah. you might need a PR agent. But at this point, all you really need to do, you know, for the most part, is kick ass on social media yeah. and have the algorithm to YouTube, take your shit bro. off. Yeah. You know, it's I mean, not YouTube, about, it's TikTok. The bro. thing about PR YouTube, agents, though, bro. they do. Who discovers shit? They I mean, are, like, very uh, lenient. They're very flexible to work with because, like, you're not the only artist they work with. Like, I don't know. Um, you know, you remember Yes Jules? She was the manager for 070 Shake. And then yes, obviously 070, she took off. You know what I mean? So they kind of she works with other artists now, stuff like that. They don't do their own thing. So a PR agent could help because what are they? What are they going to do for you, bro? They know. I mean, first of all, I don't know about Yes Jules, but I know a bunch of PR agents that know, be no, fucking with the DJs that be knowing and the like, club managers. But what does that do for you? Getting the spins, making sure people know your song. But they're going to cost you like what three to five grand a month minimum, of, or like a solid PR agent. And that's a fucking lot of money for an independent artist. It depends how much you want to invest in yourself. I mean, I, but, I know. But a lot imagine of what you could do with that money if you were spending it on like social media content right, generation. A lot of people don't know how to do that, though. That's what I'm saying. Because like, uh, you can hire, hire a videographer. A you should be honestly. That is actually a point. Like, and I tell multiple artists, especially like, bro, like you out in LA, you got a little lifestyle thing. Like, if you got bread for that, like you should be. Hire one of your buddies to hold a fucking camera, vlog your shit, yeah. you know, get get behind the scene shit, become like an actual, because that way you got free social media content all that you could post anywhere, clips everywhere, and you got shit that where people actually get to fuck with you and know who, about you, you know what I'm saying? That's why like, bro, like we're doing a podcast and shit like that, but that pod, podcast is blown up for that reason, bro. People are watching shit for 20, 30 minutes, hour long, bro, because people like to know the person. And that's yeah. that YouTube bag. If you know, you know. No, you know, YouTube yeah, YouTube Yeah, channel popping. But I think the thing with music, music, uh, content for as a musician though is I think you mostly want it to be, uh, including your music, because then the algorithm is going to find the people that like your music, yeah. not that like your behind the scenes shit. Because yeah. I mean, if if you really you get popping, yo, listen, dog. Yeah, you do there it. are YouTubers. There's DDG. He made an entire music career off being a big YouTuber, bro. And yeah. he, all he does is post him playing video games and shit. But then he's getting millions of streams because of his YouTube. But that's yeah, different. Yeah. He he started as something else. He didn't start yeah, as a musician, with right? He yeah, started no, but gaming. like, let's say yeah, if I find Trey, right? And dog, like, you got mad energy and shit like that. And I just, I was like, yo, this 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 shit's crazy. He's lit as fuck. Yeah. Then I'm like, what does he do? It's you definitely I mean? dope to do the other shit. Yeah, like, in addition. I, mean, I was that's gonna why say, we're doing this. Yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, I feel like a lot of musicians that really pop off, they don't pop off from, like, a video of them rap lip syncing their song they pop yeah, they off do. on like funny something I mean, they silly do all the time. like crazy? cardi b that's like, what i'm saying is like the funny i think skits, of cardi like, nah, like dude, the, it's not the, the, ho- the behind the scenes on how to do this or like it's not that dude yeah it's that's not, not it's what really makes people blow up it's people fucking right now it's people performing the songs on tiktok before yeah, those songs like go crazy skits. and they get streams not oh. skits but like the little videos you of them the videos somewhere interesting yeah you're yeah. somewhere and it goes with your song yeah. like yeah, yeah. it depends it? i guess you have to shoot it right and i'll edit it right because i've seen i don't know i've seen a lot of people blow up off of like their skits more than their like videos and posts about i their think music. is why stop yourself from not doing either because do both, in yeah. the case of tiktok it's all algorithmic so if you blow up off your skits that's not going to find the people that like your music. It's going to find yeah. people that like your skits. Yeah. And that yeah. might not be the people that like your music. It'll help. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right? But you might dead end a little bit that's because true. like, you get some buzz from that, but then people are kind of like not really fucking with the music. So that's got to be your primary content is that shit that has your music in it. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. absolutely. And it also comes down to, to the music. That's what really blows up. If it's good, yeah, it's going to go. That's like, um, like when I was younger, like I'd be like, I be thinking about it all the time. It's like, good is always gonna. What would they say? Good dope always gonna sell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you, it's like it's like running an an ad. 
know what I'm saying, on a newspaper. Sorry about that. On a newspaper. When people put ads on a newspaper, depending on what it is, they get more hits. Yeah. You know, meaning yeah, calls to that yeah. business. You know what I'm saying? So if the music is good and, and you and you you're you, you it's good at the end of the day, you're gonna win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna As long blow. as you put it in people's faces it, a lot. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that that's what like you for example, like like YouTube is one of those platforms where like you can change your life. You know what I'm saying? Like all all you need to do is you got to take YouTube and treat it like a TV show, like how every TV show is. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to give y'all too much, but it's like I give the sauce, the bro. Sauce. Well, it'll come back tastier. It, it's like when you when you put out a um like if you watch MTV, right? And their shows don't come on like the TV show you love, like the what was that America's Best Dance Crew or whatever mm -hmm. that came on what every Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Time, yeah. Same time. Every, you know what I'm saying? So that's how you got to approach your channel. Like, you know, after six, seven months, you're going to have, you know what I'm saying, a ca catalog of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you just got to take take it serious as like a TV show would. Every Tuesday at da -da -da -da, this time we drop. Every Wednesday at 8, High Street. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo, you're right. And 4,000 watch hours, guys. That's the number. That's when you start getting monetization on a thousand, YouTube. Thousand, yeah, 1,000 uh, subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, when you get the 4,000 watch hours, it takes a little bit to update their fucking little background info or whatever YouTube does. But when you get that 4,000, you start getting bread. And it's saying? so dope. Like, as a musician, like, with the monetizing game, once you tell somebody, hey, I'm about to drop a music video, they're looking for that music yeah, video, and they're going to watch the whole thing. Yeah. So, like, that's your watch time right there, and that's what YouTube wants to pay you on. They want to make sure that, I mean, of course, it's the, you know, the, the, the advertising and stuff like that, but they want to make sure people are watching your videos and, you know. Yeah, because there's and YouTube is different than other platforms in a way where there's quality views over just views. So like, if I have a channel that I get people to watch my shit longer, but I'm, I could get half your views, but people click off your shit quick, I'm gonna get way more bread than you, because you're just gonna get more ad. People are gonna be like, yo, who is clicking on this? Boom, I want my ads on this shit, mm -hmm. and they'll pay more to do it too. So like, the YouTube game is crazy. If like you want to get money, YouTube, YouTube, because and by the way, TikTok. Because TikTok is great for promo reasons, but it is dead in the water. As far as ads go, they're losing money, bro. You get paid on TikTok, too, though. No, bro. If you no, the, I was about to say, American bro. TikTok is being subsidized by Chinese TikTok. This is actual fact. This is not even... You. This is literally... Their numbers are real. They're, they they're might not there. be making money, but but TikTokers are. No, no. The they items? make their They make their money... With third party advertisers, they go, yo, yeah, I'll wear your items. shirt or I'll do this for you. No, they get paid, dude. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, bro. The TikTok shop, right? So this is how they do it, right? They'll go live and they'll advertise items on the TikTok shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. purchase it for, in yes, bulk. Yes, for yes, a yes, yes. That's like how they make money. No, they, they also it. get paid for views. No, no, but yeah. the guy with the most views, that guy that goes like this, the African dude, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. He has yeah, yeah, the yeah. most viewed video on TikTok. And his, he's, the money he's made off his views on TikTok is half a million dollars. He has billions of TikTok views. Yeah. That money, that, that those numbers are out there. He's only made half a mil off that. He that's made insane. half a million dollars off one video. That no, mean, off, awesome. off his entire off his TikTok account. Yeah. But he brings them billions of views. That's what I'm trying. And likes, like he's the but most followed TikTok channel. You get much bigger numbers on on TikTok than YouTube. So no, you like, get bigger numbers, bro. But it's, it's about the return for, on investment for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm saying they're getting paid on there. Yeah. They I are. Mean, I think I think there's monetization out for everyone who's looking for it. I feel like even the people who I know ten, uh, ten thousand is the minimum for Instagram to allow you to monetize, but there's people who monetize with less than that because they have right. shops online and I was they monetizing get marketing. for a little bit. Yeah, they get paid they off out. clicks too. Like as soon as mm -hmm. they click on your website, you can have a, a a portal or what's it called, like a fan tunnel, and they can just put their email in. You get paid just for that, bro, just alone. And then if, if anything they click on the alone. website, you get paid per minute. <laughs> You he just saying? dropped his like, name in there like we was yeah, here. I got you. Let me, put on, I, let me put y'all into the tech world, bro. <laughs> got you. This there's is a whole lot, hack. There's a lot of weird little side hack. hustles like that out there that are available now because of these platforms. Absolutely. How you meet Sketch, by the way? We forgot to ask that when you shouted him out. Oh, that's my cousin. You don't see Yo, him. Yo, I think oh, it relates to everybody. Is he really? Everybody's cousin, bro. Everybody's Yo, cousin. Nah, nah, Yo and you related to Rebel Mafia, too? Because they, they related to everybody. They everybody's cousin, too. Okay. Finally, we met somebody who's not their cousin on the show. Boss Mark so this. Small, Sketch bro. for show. That's, that's because. He's their cousin. Who? He's related to Rebel Mafia, too. 
Oh, that might, but but, but see the, how it works is you got side. your mom's side, your yeah. dad's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he broke down like, cousins. Yo, he said how it works. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you're a clown. <laughs> Yo, He's used to have siblings, not cousins. Um, oh my god. That's true. That's that's a dagger. Yeah, I just met my, <laughs> that one. Got I just you. met some siblings, bro. So fuck off. Right? <laughs> All right, hello. Right. What kind of what kind of um co- current events you got? Oh yo, yeah. What's I up with some, that? We kind of already talked about the one uh, big one, but I'll, I'll I'll save that for last because that's the best one. But um, so what is your uh well real question for Trey because I, I always like to ask every artist this. What's yeah, your, okay, ask me whatever. What's your take on smoking in the studio? Uh, it all depends. It's like sometimes you get to a point where, man, turn that weed off. Turn, turn that weed off. off. For real. For real. That Facts. happens to me a lot at Jimmy's house, and then sometimes the weed turns me off. Yeah, yeah. That's hey, yo. You'll be that. knocked out. Yeah. yeah, dog. The first time I cooked beats up with him, he was just like, "Bro, are we making music or are we just gonna smoke?" Because yo, we were just <laughs> fucking chief. <laughs> yo, we was chief like crazy. You gotta be able to do it at the same time. You gotta have that. Yup, yup. Sitting down. Mm-hmm. Uh, do whatever you, feel you ask. Do you feel storage. like the studio should be, like, should encompass a, a certain type of comfortability for the artist? Or do you feel like, you know, keep it professional, no stench or whatever it is like that? What, what like, attracts you more? But the first one you said. The first one, the comfortability, right? Yeah, you gotta be a lot of uh, studios that I've been going to, I only ask that because a lot of the studios that I go to, the professional ones, they don't allow smoking in there. And I always wonder why I'm like, you know, what's the... What's the thing? That, there are two excuses that I get mainly. One of them is, I guess, like the odor, the the smoke, Messes especially up when you the smoke sound it, on the tobacco. It gets yeah. sucked into the yeah, computer's the hands, it actually, it, yeah. and mm-hmm. it creates like, a, I guess, yeah, whatever, some computer shit. And then the second one, which actually makes more sense to me, bro, is. The, what if there's like a kids' church choir that comes in after me? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you, some some like promote that. <laughs> yeah. you want some za kid? Look, come on, where'd you go? They need to Bro. some high notes. Promote it type shit. That makes sense. No, but then there also is the whole thing about like the people who own the building. Yeah. And they would be like, yeah, yo, true. like, you're going to no get smoking. kicked out, bro. That's true. Like we know, yeah, Dallas is about to be homeless. You know yeah, that, that's di- yeah, that's. Di- I meant more like a uh, facility where there's I get what you're saying, bro. Rooms, that happens you know? there too. Like some some of those buildings, they don't. Yeah, they won't let you. It, and it's crazy, bro, because I mean, one of the first questions, and I say this all the time, is like people be like, "Yo, oh, you got a studio? Can we smoke in there?" Literally the first question, bro. It's not even like, yo, you got beats, what kind of mic you use, oh, oh, boom, 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 or how long you been engineering. It's like, can I smoke in there? Right. No bullshit. And then it'll turn them off and they say no. I don't know why. Just be like, Trey, you don't, don't like to, you don't like to smoke in the booth? Yeah, I love smoking in the booth. You know, we blow it down in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right into the capsule. Like, oh. yeah, but sometimes, <laughs> some, but I've never had the, the weed affect my, the like the, the sound. Like, you like know. the workflow yeah, and the yeah, music. I don't think so either yeah, usually it's like of quality and they make sure, like, you know, they... The, just like the, I, I'm, like you know, like how this mic and stuff sounds, like you know, what I'm saying that top quality, yeah. like you know. I think they just use that as a fucking bullshit excuse. They just be saying that. Shit. Yeah, some people they they they'll try to get you. The studios I usually go to, they don't care if you smoke inside, but some studios try to get that that extra fee, like oh, oh the smoke if you fee. smoke, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's some bullshit. They, they tell schoolboy the Q ones, they're like, you could smoke in here, but only papers, no backwards, or nothing like that. <laughs> mm. Oh, and uh, I'm like, you telling that's the tobacco Q thing. I have a I have a pretty crazy other trending topic right now. I have two, but I'm gonna start. Th- this one was kind of pretty fucking insane. But y'all, everyone's a fan of GTA here. Everybody knows about GTA. GTA mm-hmm. Six coming through. Yep. Uh, since we were talking about technology in, in into the industry in the entertainment world, uh, GTA Six headline: Kids won't be able to play. Uh, without a facial recognition um, system, mm. so ES- probably for the best, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no. yo, because I remember <laughs> I got GTA get- three. I convinced my dad because he know English to get get it for me, bro. The guy at the desk was like, he's like, do you know that you're buying this yeah, for your fucking eight year old, bro? And I was like, he's like, he's just saying it's a fun Wait, game. Wait, so yeah. to make sure that they're of age. Yeah, so ESRB is the company that rates video games and shit. They're using facial recognition to upload a selfie to unlock the game. So purchase hmm. it, blah blah blah. Go. To GameStop, buy the game. You get home, put it in your PS5. You have to like identify yourself. Then. Yo, can't you just where's get the your camera? Old uncle's face, like, uh, yeah, where's the camera? Yeah, yeah, it'll, probably, it'll probably be like some app shit where you have to like, you know, install the Yo, app. Yeah, 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 have a camera, and then what if the kid just goes and puts some other picture? Up? Nah, nah, bro. So a lot of a lot of um, gaming companies now they have they'll all of them have an app, and you have an account through the app, and you can connect through it. Like 
you can, I can go on you can go on your Xbox or your PlayStation app, boom, and you can do, do all the same shit. You could talk to your boys on there, whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. They're probably gonna do some shit like that. Yeah, but absolutely. it's like, dog, most of that stuff, like they get around that shit all the time. Yeah. Like unless Damn, your parents. Damn, y'all ain't gonna be at the strip club. Y'all, <laughs> y'all child is ass. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fucked up. That's, yeah, that's everyone's GTA's. first stripper, bro. Uh-huh. I GTA know. Strippers. I used to go just to get the hose. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Bro, it was won't just even fun. Press, they won't even be able to press a new game, bro. Especially Fuck in the Grand Auto. <laughs> so, what do you think, Alone? You think there's a conspiracy there? Yeah, what's I, up think, with that? I think uh, what they're trying to do is incorporate a lot of the digital softwares back into the game. Like, we were talking about NFTs. There's going to be digital assets that creators, developers, even artists, musicians can incorporate into the game. And I think that's why they don't want kids to play because certain. You know, certain assets in the game could be, you know, well, GTA is bad problematic. Mature, yeah, you can yeah, go yeah, on a killing spree, bro. Yeah, it, like, the game's already. And they're down. probably trying to get more. Like, think about how much more real it's about to get. Like, yeah. uh, like no, the new game looks insane. You know what I'm saying? It like, we will see strippers just do this. <laughs> and they got VR <laughs> compatibility. Facts. You can probably subscribe to the strippers' OnlyFans on shit. You in that hole touching that bitch? Like, with the goggles. Yo, get the VR shit. Yeah, no, it's getting crazy, bro. To flip it on a more positive note. They should let you make custom radios and stream people's music on there. That'd be dope. Yeah, like that'd be dope. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good ass idea. That's take that's that perfect, shit, Rockstar. That's a perfect segue into the next trending topic we kind of already touched on, which was music streaming 2.0. Mm. So this is actually crazy, crazy. It's super fresh. It's, uh, it's in like investment uh, right now. So this it hasn't been developed yet. Like being- but. Huge investors. I got a list of huge investors, guys. Music streaming 2.0, what is it? How can it benefit artists? Top investors. Bob McDelosi. I might have mispronounced that last name. He's the owner of Triller or uh, mm. Musical.ly, whatever it was, right? No, Musical.ly used to be TikTok. Music- yeah, it, it, TikTok right. Became, backwards whatever. got you. Oh, yeah, Musical.ly used to be TikTok, right? Yeah. right, right. Musical.ly. 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 I don't know. That's how I... That's in Spanish, bro. No, it's in Spanish. It's in Spanish. It's in Spanish. Musical.ly. It's in Spanish, bro. It's fine. Um. So... Uh, quote from Bob from Triller, the power will be shifted from the viewer to the creator through technology, increasing transparency, using digital assets like NFTs, um, audio files, images, GIFs, and stuff like that. Anything that a digital creator can create. Uh, another top investor, bro, this one's crazy. Hazel Savage from SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. Yo, uh, mm-hmm. I think it, I think she's like the Savage marketing f- in SoundCloud. Uh, Savage. It's oh, probably like sa- it's spelled savage, but it's probably so like pronounced savage. some savage French shit. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like savage. She of the savage. Macho Man, Randy Savages. <laughs> Yo, is he a big He's investor? A That'd be lit, bro. It's got to be with the with the with the French accent onto it. The macho. Um. So sh- her quote is: "This artist revolution is a new." Uh, era where we all learn and figure out how to make sure the money fans want to spend goes directly to the artists they want to support. Yeah. And then the last investor, with, which is uh, pretty minor. I don't know if you guys heard of the Rain Group. Uh, Joe Puthanvini says platforms will evolve to connect artists directly to fans and unlock opportunities for engagement and monetization beyond streaming. Music discovery will be will be into integ- ah, I'm sorry. Music discovery will be integrated more deeply into other forms of entertainment, particularly gaming. Mm. So it's going to that's what we were talking about yeah. the GTA shit and all the digital assets. Well, it's happening, bro. Like if you think about yeah. it, think about almost every Big artists right now, they're like, I need to go see the streamer who, who plays video yeah. games. Nicki Minaj was on Kai Sinatra's stream. You know I what always saying? said I wanted to have my own game system. Like, yeah. you know, like people will go and be like, I, no, I wanted like some sort of technology. Like, Imagine I want to have a car. Naughty, I want to have a phone. Like, what do you mean, like that? That's your. Oh, you want to be Soldier Boy? Naughty car. Oh, she just wanted to yeah. be Soldier Boy. Soldier cool. Boy did it first. Like a naughty. He did everything yeah, he first. Had the game system first. You heard about Soldier Boy's game system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stupid. No, Soldier I never Boy had saw a game it. system. Soldier Boy, he got it. He had everything. Done. That yeah, he's, he's the first the to do everything. Biggest yeah. entrepreneur ever. <laughs> Yo, so how do you think this is gonna benefit artists as like us and shit like that? Like, do you think it'll be something that we'll have to remember how the internet came out and all the musicians had to turn into influencers and shit? Do you think that this will help us get back to our you know, we're owning everything we're creating, or do you think a lot of people are going to sell it and be like, oh, who, who's making the hottest shit? I got to be like that. Well, what will, though? Like, let's define yeah, what, what all that saying. just means. Yeah. You know so, what I'm saying? Like, so Yeah, because you said a bunch of people's names no one knew, right. and you so, acted like we did, by the way. So basically what they're trying to say is they want to create a platform. Uh, think of it like this. Patreon as a streaming uh, platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you go to, you know, uh, whatever okay. the website's going to Spotify. We'll just say Spotify, whatever, right? And... It'll be 
the merch, the events, the catalog, and then premium uh, content. Yep. Right? Let's talk and about OnlyFans again, bro. No, 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 That's bro. Crazy. Premium content's king oh. right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a couple everything. platforms like this already. Yeah, there's a really yeah. cool one called Grouped. There's another one called Backstage. And they basically, yeah, cool, yeah. Yeah, they basically allow you to, and there's Patreon. Right, but uh, grouped is my favorite because like it really does have a good streaming interface. Mm. But like, and I think eventually it's going to be integrated into Spotify. And so I think what we're getting at here, right, is like going back to buying music, buying individual songs, absolutely, and albums. fans being able to support yeah. the artists, and it goes directly and, to them, and handling it through things like the blockchain, where you can show ownership and, and prove ownership on yes. a di on any, any platform. Absolutely. So I feel like yeah, I feel like it. it, it if you're gonna do it, if you want to be uh, go straight to the uh, consumers, just create your own website. You know what I'm saying, and set up your payments and everything on you on the website and www dot whatever. Because like think about it like this, I was just thinking about it. Uh, remember when World Star first came out, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone was um, on WorldStar.com. WorldStar yeah. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. a YouTube. It, it, World Star wasn't on YouTube at that point. That YouTube wasn't big. It was if you got a music video on WorldStar.com, like Trey the Kid, that could yeah. change your yeah, that could yeah. change your you know the trajectory of what what you got going Facts. on. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, it's like um, a lot of people wanted to get on that website because of the views. And um, if you thinking, I mean not thinking, if it's based on I got to get on this website because I got a chance of being seen in front of all these people, millions of people, then it's like, at that point, you can create your own website and run your own ads. The problem with that is then you, you have to get people to you come come there. to that website, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really hard. To yeah, get, like feed the traffic. So, I mean, like, what a lot of, we were talking about NFTs earlier. But like, the answer to that, I feel like, is running it. If you want to bring people to your, you got to, you got to. Stay you gotta, consistent. Yeah, you yeah. got to get the traffic. So, you yeah. got to, if you, if you put out an advertisement, that's going to make the people come to your website. Especially mm -hmm. if you set up the ad for that website. Mm -hmm. You're going to get the, say, if you want to reach a million people um, or a half a million, you you know, you can set up and create an a a advertisement. And you know what I'm saying, where it will it show like $3, you thousand dollars though. It'll it'll show it's you it. the trajectory, yeah. And if you really um, if you really know how to use that 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 you know when you go on Google for example and you create the an ad, ad AdSense, sometimes yeah. it might say um switch to expert mode. So if you're on that level of being an on an expert mode and coding and know, shit, you know what you're doing. Not really coding, but just understanding, just like understanding how to use the platform. Right. You you um you got a chance to uh, get those same hits, you know? Because yeah. I was thinking about it, it's like, damn, if we, back in the day, if a video used to get like five million, ten million on World Star, where are those views coming from? Like they literally had a thing on their website where it showed the eyeball. I don't know if y'all remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with the, the views, number, yep. the number of how many people seen it with the comments and stuff like that, like a YouTube. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I think yeah. that's how many people just clicked on it or saw it. Like literally yeah, the impressions. Th that's viral. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's viral. Because if that number, I mean, if if I mean, yeah, next to that eyeball numbers. said one million or two million or something like that, then I'm people sorry. are like, yeah, you're viral. Yeah, Some people were hitting nine figures on fucking World Star, bro. Yeah. Straight up, it was going crazy. I, I think the challenge with. Uh, with music, though, is like people listening to it, you know, because people like to listen in Apple Music or Spotify and they don't want to have to like go cool, out of that to else. somebody's website. I, I like his idea, though, if you can get something when I go there, right? Because like, Doug, how many people have we had on here? And I will always bring it up. You ain't got no merch on your shit. You ain't got nothing I could cop or support you, nothing. You, yeah, you don't got nothing. That doesn't make it any easier to listen to their music, though. No, I'm not talking about It'll that, but I'm saying if you... I, I'm not, I wasn't disagreeing with you. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, his website thing just made me think of that. Like, bro, like, if you're going to do all that and force traffic to you and get eyeballs, like, sell me something. You know what I mean? Yeah. In a oh, way, yeah, for yeah. shit show. Be, yo, because if you get a 1,000 people to buy your $60 hoodie or whatever... That's more bread that you would have made off a video that got mad views anyways. Like, yeah. you would have made all your money back. Yeah, but I mean, that's a whole separate thing, right? Like, yeah. we're talking about streaming yeah, and, and where it's mostly. going. So I think, I think where, where things are going is, like, um, sort of like movies are now. You know when a movie comes out and you got to, like, pay to see it in the theater? Or you can, sometimes you can stream it on demand, but you got to pay 20 bucks or whatever. Yeah. You can't yeah. just watch it because it's on Netflix. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think that's what it's going to be like for music. Okay. Where there will be songs when they come out, you got to pay it for it if you want to hear it, and then eventually it'll just hit streaming. It'll be yeah. available in, in general Spotify Absolutely. libraries. It, that, that'll be really helpful because especially in like high school and trendy songs that like are popping on TikTok, like imagine you go to high school and all everybody at lunchroom is listening to the new song because they purchased it and you're the only one that didn't purchase it. That it would suck. kind of make you feel like suck. you got to buy the song. Yeah. No, it's going to make people yeah. find a way to steal Fact, it. I'm not going to yeah. lie. But, well, <laughs> not if, if you do it with blockchain though, you won't be able you to steal it. You won't be able to because it's encrypted, know, but there's people still figure shit out. Yeah, they record it yeah, and stuff like that. Exactly. But I was just people say, figure it out, bro. But still, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you can still you can steal movies all the time now. But still, people still Duh. pay for the streaming. The thing about it though you know is that it's not about being stolen, right? It's kind of like the NFT because they get stolen all the time. It's about if you can authenticate it. If you can authenticate it, you're the shit. But if it's like you know a screenshot, screen recording, if there's a way to to know if it's mm. fake, then you you know it's not going to mean. mean how much is that going to matter to a person who just wants to listen to it though? You get what I'm saying? Like, oh man, you don't listen to the authenticated one. This is like the move, the playlist you. show you was talking about. Because those are always going to be two arguments right. when it comes down to oh, you saw it? when music. I've been watching some of I still have like two episodes left. But it's always going to be the argument when it comes down to the fact that music became streaming. So, regardless, somebody's going to be able to find it for free. Yeah. But it's really just you wanting to make money out of it, whatever you can from it, the people that will support, the people that are going to pay for it. Yeah, there's that no aspect matter what, to it. I think like, you can't be too obsessed with how much you make off each listen or each song. It's like how you can utilize that to actually make it on other income streams because yeah. you're not going to get rich off your streams, bro. It takes too much, too many streams, too many views to make Spotify rich and you get that's nothing. That's a defeatist attitude. I don't, and I don't think yeah, that's Bro, true. but like, yo, but there's so much more shit you could do about it. It's not defeatist. No, I yeah, said, but there's like, 10 other things you could do with your music. And you should be doing those things, but like, yeah. you, you get more off your to. shows. The goal is yeah. to make them always want to go back and listen. That's the end goal right. as an artist. No matter what, if you go and you're on a podcast, you're selling merch, da, 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 I think the goal, you're the artist. So they're always going to go back and listen no matter yeah. if, so they're going to pay if they want to pay. I think that's For the, sure. the, the last thing. If and they, want, if they yeah, like you, if they fuck with you, they're going to pay. And you got to exactly. set the price so that it's like it's the right they, line between yeah. convenience and cost. My yeah. point is they're going to pay you one way or the other, bro. If you didn't pay for my song, but you bought $200 worth of my merch, I made my money off you. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. That's why you gotta have that's that all website. You can do that's both. my point. Both. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't think that's gonna happen too much. You that's why you gotta have that website. Out that's, here? that's the beauty in it, bro. Is that it's gonna decipher the artists that really, really want this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And because yeah. look at what happened when when You're TikTok came out. Is like everybody was, was like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to have the summer. The no, song that's of the summer. Nobody wanted to do that, right? But the people who did want to do, like, really wanted this shit. They were like, man, fuck it. I'll fucking do, you know, whatever. And they popped. That's all I've been thinking about. Wanted it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just gonna be about who really wants it and who mm -hmm. really wants to figure this shit out because I remember a bunch of, when I was growing up trying to be a producer there was no producer union Sunny Digital was not a thing and now look at uh, Sunny Digital is putting on for the producers look at we got fucking what's that girl SoundCloud bitch and fucking Triller putting on for the musicians you knew their names early and now she's SoundCloud bitch I, I had to look Miss at Savage. it bro I had to look at I it they're all like women, French last names and weird ass foreign names <laughs> I can't recite up. that she's it no but I SoundCloud do SoundCloud bitch works for her money bro. there you go you know what I'm saying no. yeah. I do feel like I like I have been saying like I'm looking for that next TikTok or that next Instagram what's the next platform the next thing that cause that's what it is. You have to pick up on it when it's nothing and everybody's doubting it and it's not, you know what I'm saying? And then just take off. Like, because that's really what happened. 2020, you saw it. Everybody was sitting there in COVID and people just was like, you know what? I'm about to use this TikTok thing. Exactly. Like, what's this? And you know what, you know what it might be for music is um, Spotify. And I know Spotify is nothing new, but they're they're integrating now more and more mm -hmm. that the the TikTok like scroll. Yep. So you can oh, go yeah, on you can go story. on Spotify and discover music by going through people's videos that they yeah. put up. And, and even on the Spotify yeah. artists, they're like putting up new things every every day. Like I see yeah. Spotify news, like they always had it, but now it's just more and more features for you to be allowed to expose people to your music. Yeah, the forums are open on Spotify too, so they like nah. listen. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just oh, listening. Oh, there was like some... You're resting your eyes? I missed Oh, you're listening. Okay, okay, cool. So right. I'm nodding my head. Oh, no. Nah, <laughs> that was, was mad funny. I thought you were taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, like, whoa. Wait, Nadi, you didn't ask your general... Which, you know, your favorite question. There's a lot. Nah, there's one specific... You have one. a girlfriend? You have to look into the camera, bro. You have to look into your soul right there. You see what I'm saying? And, and say hello you, to your she, girlfriend. Can, yeah. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna say the other. Yeah, okay. it was good. It's crazy. He's funny. Um, what else? What else we got? 
Asia's oh. it. I think I mean, we uh, wrapped it up. All the topics are done. That's all the trending topics. How you feeling, Trey? I feel really good. I'm feel I'm excited. Um, like I said, shooter in the bio going crazy. You know mm-hmm. that song is going dumb. Is that on Spotify? Because I didn't. Not yet. I, I, I was I was wondering uh, because all right. So I got this thing with my um my Apple where I I can't log into it. So I was thinking about just like. The yeah. Apple for Artists app? Yeah. yeah that so Mine too. Yeah, they be annoying just, with that. Yeah. It's because if you have an iPhone, you don't sign in with the iPhone, uh, iCloud. It's a different email. Yes. Man, I know I, I messed I it up. I'll tap in with you later, bro. I'll show you how to do that. Yeah, so it's I'm, fucking annoying. So, yeah, I'm thinking about um making a new one. Like a new um this, Apple Music. Yeah, yeah just... Yeah, yeah. And it's okay. Like, it's okay to come out, you know what I'm saying, with the... If you have to make a new one, oh yeah, people do name, it all the time. Different thing, yeah. yeah. Like, why well, are you have to change your name? Though? You can't. I mean, because you could. There could be two artists that are named called Trey the Kid. Because I can't. F- I I can't log into the, the thing. Oh no, bro! But you just you just copy the ISRC codes and paste them onto the new account, and then it'll be it. You know, it'll be synchronized. It, it'll keep all the plays. It'll keep all the views. All that stuff. What do you use for oh. distribution? Oh, that's a good question. I was using um. Distro kid. Yeah. yeah, that's that's perfect. So like so when you try to upload something to Apple Music through that, there's an issue you're saying or um well I don't know the password. I can't log into it. To your distro kid. Mm-hmm. Or no, no, to, no, to, to my Apple, to my Apple the Apple, Apple Music for artists. artists. Yeah. 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 You can still distribute though. Like cuz Apple Music for artists is going to allow you to check on your stats and and you know activate whatever right, you want with your true. with your you know update your oh, profile you and shit it. like that. You don't have to link it or something. No, you're right. No. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of like cuz you don't even have to go to Apple Music for artists ever if you don't yeah. want to. What up Jay? Shout out to Jay. You know oh, shout out Jay. Yeah. Shout out Jay. <laughs> Where's the troller? Oh, about oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Nice. yeah. yeah. <laughs> shout out bro. Um so so you're thinking about dropping this shit on all platforms but you have some trouble right now. Yeah, so yeah. I was just thinking about um making a new a new um, Apple um, new name and stuff like that because it's like I want to be able to go and see how many streams I got. I want to be yeah. able to see like I can see it on Spotify and stuff like that. But like and like we live in a world where like you know these dudes are funky. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so once they you know what I'm saying have access or something like that, they yeah. they holding it down like this. So it's yeah. like mm. you know what? It's all good. If I gotta come out with a, you know what I'm saying, yeah, a do new, it, it's all good. Boss up on them. Yeah, Take like, oh, like yeah. it's okay. There's, is a, what was Two Chain's name? Titty Boy before. Yeah, <laughs> which was hilarious, by the way. Yeah, yeah to Two Chain. So it's like, it was. So, sometimes yeah, you just gotta do that. Mm. Like rebrand. Do mm-hmm. you have any sh- anything coming up? Any shows? Any albums? Anything? Any events popping up this month? Um. Yeah. Uh. Actually. Um. And what's today the third? Mm-hmm. I, I'm, yeah, I got this live um, with a band. Oh, I'm cool! Sure. Yeah, with the band behind me in LA. Um, you need a guitarist? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, bro, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Um, you disrespected Miss Savage too much. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. nah. It's not that. It's just that. <laughs> no, no. I'm just yeah, he's you defend, you're defending Miss Savage's honor, the, bro. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. The way they hit me up, they're like, "Yo, we got the drummer. We got all. Mm. We got. We want you to um, oh, perform." Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Because my boy, he um. He like he he plays the uh the what's that the guitar and the drums and he was like he's been playing with like the his fellow friends and stuff like that and they're like getting like gigs for like 4K and stuff and he he was just chopping it up and he was like if I add you on to it you know um what do you want I'm like well if you guys are doing that with me being added on you could probably like get like uh for me you know just my me being added on it probably like 15 you know what I'm saying um. And I think that would um that that would make sense. And he was a uh, he agreed and stuff like that. So we got the first performance set up with the live band. Yeah, yeah. So they're like learning your songs and shit. Yeah, they yeah. That's the, the best, dude. That's, that's fucking awesome. Dope. When yeah. they when they provide that for you, that's crazy. They, it's yeah. their job to learn that shit. Yeah, that I mean, that means they're gonna be nasty too. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you know, those musicians are so fucking good, dude. The guys that go on tour and shit and like play yeah, those. Yeah. Bro, I watched gigs. that uh, fucking fish concert for New Year's Eve. Oh, I'm the sorry. motherfuckers were yeah, I know the motherfuckers were performing from eight a.m. eight p.m. I suppose about to say eight a.m. T- until damn near two in the morning, bro. Like nonstop. They had like fifteen, a couple of fifteen minute breaks, yeah, but they were literally just jamming out. Yeah, and I was joking the whole night. I'm like, yo, this song takes thirty minutes just for one song, bro. Yeah, they're exhausting. These motherfuckers would be like, and I'm like, 
That's that acid rock. That's that. Remember, Honestly, bro, you can tell. Remember the 70s when Pink Floyd was making like 10 minute songs? Nah, People bro. Were listening to that shit. It was, it was, it was. <laughs> minutes, yo, bro. the ball drop, niggas was on their fourth song, bro. I was tight. I was like, yo, this, this ain't happening. Why are there frogs and giraffes yeah, and shit on the screen bro. right now? To, to watch them, you do got to be on acid. Yeah, I, do I was agree. about to say, to even listen to it, you got to be on acid. Honestly, I went to, yeah. I went no, to I a, so. a fish show. We're drug free over tripping. here. I'm going to just say that right now. We are drug free that. over here. I don't condone yeah, any we only, drugs. We support <laughs> cannabis. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Nubia. God maybe bless some, you. Yeah, maybe some <laughs> gas and stuff like that, but we don't. That's what we boycotting on 2024. Oh, yeah, no drugs. Forward. No to drugs. It ain't exactly. cool. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. That's Even shrooms? I've never done Unless it's shrooms. medicinal. Shrooms are cool. I, I feel like if it's medicinal, it's different. But you don't I mean, want nothing that's going to have that you that you feel like when you wake up in the morning, you're going to need. Oh, no, that's fentanyl not is shrooms. medicinal. Yeah. <laughs> fentanyl <laughs> is medicinal. Like this. Bro, they put it in a patch. Anesthesiologist had it on his lanyard. Yeah, yeah. Fentanyl logo. Yeah. Trace, yeah. Trace still got a couple more years to figure that out, though. He hasn't gone to raves. What, that fentanyl is medicinal? No, we, uh, you don't raves? have to figure nothing out. No, no, I've heard of raves and stuff like that. you go to a rave, you'll be... No, I've been to... I've been to one before, but that's just really not my thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not... Yeah, we was talking about raves. It was. I don't think it's a... It's not. It's not the dense, dense. So you like trying? Yeah, yeah they no, can be pretty like, fun yeah, if, yeah, you're, yeah. Not yet. It's if you're. Not yet. It's fun. It's fun, but it's Ecstasy like. Ecstasy and acid. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. it depends what you define as fun. I guess. Like, I definitely understand. <laughs> that's true. That. Yeah. I definitely understand that. Man, for sure. Here it's not God. for everybody. Show. Show. Yeah. That's true. I mean, you got to be sober. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Not at a rave, dude. That's a bad time. Yeah, honestly. Pe- oh, pe- so when is the LA show? When You didn't say the date, did you? Yeah, I haven't got a date on it yet because they're still rehearsing. But like, I, I think I actually said like the 15th or something like okay, that. Okay, bet. Oh, duh. Yeah, it's right. right. Is it going to be a uh, video, a uh, live recording? No, it's actually I mean, going to uh, be a live show. Not just recording, like okay, an actual bad, live show. Bad, yeah. Bad. They got a, um, my boy just got the booking and stuff and then he just hit me up with like, yo, we want to learn your music and um, we want to play and it's uh, it's gonna be a good crowd. That's so, fire, dude. Yeah. Fire. So you like LA? Like that's that's your spot? Yeah, for sure. How long have you been out there? Since 2019. Okay, you said that in the beginning. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. So, I don't know. I remember do you, you were saying in the beginning you was like, yeah, at first I didn't like it. That's how I felt when I first went there. But like, I'm thinking I'm going back very soon. I'm thinking in February, but we'll yeah. see. But like, I don't know. Like, yeah, what's like- your what would you say? What's your your plan when you get there? Like, if <laughs> just keep recording the same thing, <laughs> like just really keep recording, just yeah. going to any studios. Like, that's how you met people. No, nah, everything is in house. Oh, but but every like yeah, you can go to different studios. You'll meet people. But it's it's just good to always have. Um, all you need is like a uh, you just need a mic, something like this, your computer. Um. Yeah, I got a little setup, but I'm just so saying like about. more so for networking, like meeting people right, wise, networking, and I going said, to LA. I say, like, the shows. Because, like, in the studio, people, like, yeah, you might meet an artist, but, like, they be trying to record. Yeah, yeah so they're, they're not there yeah, for that. Yeah, they're not really in the lounge. They'll probably go, like, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, actually, they don't even really go to the lounge because everything comes to the to Yeah, the to the spot. Yeah. yeah so they're going to bring your food to the room, you know, bring your, your weed or whatever drugs you They're going to bring all that in there and it's closed. And it, you might want to go out, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sometimes it gets get some air. A little, yeah. So you go outside in the lounge, maybe hit the pool or some stuff like that. But um, yeah, everything is in house. Okay, that's what's up, bro. So before we close out, man, anything else you want to make sure that people know? Um, I just want to say shout out to all the artists coming up in, mm-hmm. in the city. You know what I'm saying? Um, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I support it. I think a lot of a lot of people get confused because I just stay in my lane so much. Where they get confused, like, oh, you don't support. No, nah, I support. I'm just trying to, I'm just focused on, you know what I'm saying? Making sure that I do it the right way and stuff. But mm-hmm. shout out to all the artists coming up. Um, shout out my boy Migs, too. My boy Migs, sure. He gave me cool shit. That's yeah. lit. All right, man. Well, we really appreciate you coming. This was mad fun. We got to do it yeah. again sometime. We got to make some music sure. now, too. Yes, sure. sir. Yeah. Yeah. You got to come out more, man. You yeah, you got to lock in the studio. Booth. Y'all got a studio on here? Yeah. Not here. Well, we are going to try and set up something in the closet at some point yeah, for a special night or something like yeah. that. But no, you come over my spot, bro. Yeah, Dallas got. Yeah, Dallas got. Yeah. not far. Yeah. But also, can I give a shout out to? Yeah. I went to two dispensaries today, so I, you know we got the Kush Groove apparel okay. on. You gave former me a T-shirt. Guest. Nice. You know, oh, former I, guest I, Marcus. I know Kush Groove. I've, I I know Kush Groove. They had a spot on Tremont, yeah, bro, on Tremont lit. Street. That's crazy. I, yeah. I remember him too. He it's a dispensary now, and he got one in Cambridge. Um. Other location may open up soon, like in near Roxbury. In Brockton. He took me in, in Brockton. Brockton. No, yeah. no, it's 
it's gonna be two. Three. Bro, so. went with me on my yeah, first right. my first real trip to New York. I got booked. This is when I dropped on so hot. I got booked at this little fucking ghetto ass uh, little club in in, in Brooklyn. Um, but he took that drive out there. He took the drive out there with me. We was out there, and that shit was lit. Wait, was That's it cool. when he went up to the Canadian border with those lesbians? No, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> this, was Shout out to Marcus. this was 2018. <laughs> this was 2018. Um, well, he went to Brooklyn after. That's why I, I said that. And then I you got did. three more. Um, this is from Low Key Dispensary. Do you know these these people? Yeah, so I What's went out there to check them out. What's up with my? It's not, there's no weed in there. It's just a show because this is it's actually dropping on Friday. Oh, okay. Y'all got to so get with me. Y'all, y'all, want, y'all want me to put it out. Hell there. yeah, so Trey the Kid, they already know. Yeah. Um, and it's cool because it's Dorchester Diesel. So he got uh, the, uh, is this the orange line in the background? And stuff? That's dope. It's cool. I thought yeah, it was that. cute. He should have been here. He should have been yeah. here. Yeah, they just some, opened up. You know what I'm saying? We could have got some pics. Yeah, hell yeah. I'll let him know. <laughs> and then um, there's Tikal. These two, these are it's only Tikal. sold. That's Tikal, that's Man's. Yeah, only sold in his store, he said. So that's yeah. how on Friday. He also has Blue Hill Ave. He wanted me to show that. I think oh, the, the bags Hill were cheap, so I was yeah, like, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. We boycotting it until you come in here and yeah. deliver. <laughs> and everybody knows the best dispensary is Nuvia. Nuvia. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, bro. Yeah, yes. yeah that's very Boston. true. Nah, no, that's dope. Just to, just to let y'all know. <laughs> Shout out to them. And make sure y'all pop out to my show at Concert Crave. Um, what is it? What's the Palladium? January seventh. It's in Worc- mm-hmm. It's in Worcester, dude. Fuck the snow, kid. We still fucking driving yeah. up there. It might I need be to win that thousand dollars, bro. That no, but it's gonna be lit. If you ever been, if you ever performed at the Palladium, it's fucking crazy. Alone, have you been there? I think I have been there before you, too. You, yo, Palladium. it's lit as hell. I, I saw the Blues Brothers there after uh, Harvest Cup. It was lit. Um, but yeah, you gonna see. I know. You gonna see? I'm nervous. Gonna I need to practice. Honestly, I need to go. Word. Yeah. All right. Word. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Trey, thank you again. Thank you, Trey. Yeah, thank you, Trey. Peace, everybody. See ya. Peace out. Take us out. If I say so. Yeah. Uh, fly nigga in these night airs. Everything I do is top tier. And the way we live is not fair We do not care Bang on you niggas, we don't show fear Mama ain't raise no busters or chumps Told me to grind till my pockets get the mumps Then they got the lumps Niggas tried to crisscross me from the jump I ain't got no fucking sleep in a month I been on the road Trying to get to this big pot of gold The game should be sold And you niggas ain't buying, you lying Once the shots start firing, you niggas dying Had a church and your family crying when I was selling bass, I did it well, just like Nolan Ryan You know how much it cost to buy him? A whole lot of cake, and you niggas try to sneak a pie in uh, If I say so, the killers gon' go if I say so The prices get low if I say so Shorty gon' hold if I say so Yeah, if I say so, the killers gon' go if I say so The prices get low if I say so Shorty gon' hold Nigga, you can catch me on the stage where the stars be Or in the dealership where the cars be I'm in this bitch mouth where a jaw be Now you wanna pill me like Cosby I know that hate's a strong word, but I hate y'all niggas I'm going to the top and I can't take y'all niggas I don't owe you niggas shit I don't owe a bitch All I'm trying to do is get rich, so get off my dick Catch me in the air, I'm on another flight Niggas keep biting my style, they must be Iron Mike Had to switch the whip and the ice Used to serve the green and white Don't call me twin, we are not alike We are not the same I was born a boss, you was born a lame Sheltered in your crib, I had to live with pain In your hood, I practice my aim If I clap you and you don't die You still feel it when it rains If I say so The killers gon' go if I say so The prices get low if I say so Shorty gon' hold if I say so